Dünyanın en büyük ağ teknoloji şirketlerinden biri olan Cisco'nun Barcelona'da düzenlemiş olduğu Cisco Live 2019 adı verilen etkinliğe katıldım ve bu etkinlikteki önemli notları sizler için bu videoda derledim. ''28 Ocak'ta başlayan ve 31 Ocak'ta sona eren etkinliğe binlerce uzman, analist, iş ortağı ve benim gibi medya mensupları katıldı. Türkiye'den de ciddi anlamda katılım vardı. Nesnelerin internete bağlanmasıyla yeniden yapılandırılması gereken iletişim altyapısına hazır olduklarını ifade eden firma, her şirketin kendine özgü bir nesnelerin interneti gereksinimi olduğunu ve bu projelere uygun bir altyapı çözümüne ihtiyaç duyduklarını belirtti ve bununla birlikte esne ve güvenli çözümler için de Cisco'nun hazır olduğunu açıkladı. Etkinlikte öne çıkan konulardan biri de Intent Based Network yani niyet tabanlı ağlar veya amaç tabanlı ağlarda diyebiliriz buna. Bu yaklaşım ağların oluşturulma ve yönetilme şeklinde bir devrimi temsil ediyor. Geleneksel performans ve hedef odaklı yaklaşımların aksine altyapının hedefini anlayarak bunun bir ağ politikasına dönüştürülmesi işte bu vizyonun bir parçası. Özellikle kullanıcı sayısı çok yüksek olan kurum ve kampüslerdeki bu yaklaşım başarılı sonuçlar ortaya koydu. Bu yaklaşım şimdi nesnelerin interneti için ihtiyaç duyulan A altyapısına da hazır. Etkinlikte veri merkezleri için hazırlanan yeni yaklaşım da paylaşıldı. Veri merkezlerinin sabit bir yerden alınan hizmet olmaktan çıktığını ve verinin üretildiği ve işlendiği her yerin birer data center'a dönüştürüldüğüne parmak basıldı. Bu değişimin bir parçası olarak Cisco veri merkezi her yerde vizyonunu duyurdu. Sunumlarda Amazon Web Servisleri ve Microsoft Azure ortamları kullanarak yapılan demolar A profesyonelleri ve sistem uzmanları tarafından beğeniyle karşılandı. Etkinliğin bir diğer sürprizi de Cisco'nun İstanbul'da dahil olmak üzere 12 ülkede bulunan inovasyon merkezlerine bir yenisini Barcelona'da eklemesi oldu. Çok eski ve terk edilen bir fabrikayı alarak muhteşem bir teknoloji üstüne çeviren Cisco yeni girişimlere burada destek oluyor. Bu inovasyon merkezinin hedefinde akıllı şehirler için ihtiyaç duyulan teknolojiler var. Etkinlikte Cisco'nun çok değerli yöneticileriyle de bir araya gelme imkanım oldu. Onlardan bir tanesi başkan yardımcısı Ivan oldu. Ivan'la beraber önemli konuları masaya yatırdık. Şimdi o sohbete gidelim. So from a trending perspective what we're seeing is a market transition. Uh, and that market transition is all around digitization. Uh, that is complemented with the fact that we also have a market compelling event which is GDPR, which is all around security. So customers are coming to us looking to see how we can help them to digitize their business, but digitize it in a new way. And you would have heard this morning uh, the, the announcement around software find when. You'd have also heard some of my colleagues talk about intent-based networking. And you'd have also heard the, the discussion around how we're shifting from hardware-oriented networking to software-oriented networking. Um, so with that, we've launched strategy from a Cisco perspective, which is kind of about six months old now, which looks at the uh, secure, intelligent platform for a digital business. So that's the trending we're seeing. We're seeing a market transition of digitization, a market compelling event of GDPR, and the necessity then for Cisco to really innovate to be able to deliver that for our customers. So I think... Uh, I would take it back a little bit and I would say what are the opportunities for network professionals now and you know in one of the sessions we did earlier I spoke about the, the emerging market transition back in the early 90s and the opportunity there was for network professionals not just to understand data but to understand voice and video. And that was a huge opportunity for them to be more valuable as professionals in their industry to companies. And what we're now saying is that as security becomes more of an integral embedded element of the platform and of the network, then the, we expect that IT professionals become more proficient around security policies, postures, applications and services. So now they're able to deliver a holistic security policy compliance mechanism on a software oriented network. So that's the opportunity. So networking professionals becoming more security oriented and offering more value to their, their employers and their customers. You mentioned 5G. Um, so I think the opportunity there really is around how organizations can leverage the best of 5G and Wi-Fi 6. And we see them as complementary. We don't see them as competitive. You know, we, we, were, we were told three or four years ago that 4G would, would kill Wi-Fi. 
it, it hasn't. There have been two very much complementary technologies, and we see 5G and Wi-Fi 6 very similar. Um, there, are, there are instances and, and uh, I suppose, use cases where 5G will be quite good, and there are as many use cases where Wi-Fi 6 will be as good. And we see organizations leveraging both for, for vastly different reasons. I was I had a conversation earlier, and we talked about the generation evolution around how people use data, how people use devices, and even if you look at how younger kids are congregating outside the likes of Starbucks and, and areas and shopping malls where they have free Wi-Fi, um, they still have 4G, and they can still use 4G, and, but they, they use so much data and they consume high bandwidth, rich data like video and, and high def photos, that leveraging both technologies is critical for users as we go into the future. Bir diğer misafirimiz de içinde ülkemizin de bulunduğu Orta Doğu ve Afrika'dan sorumlu olan Başkan Yardımcısı David vardı. David'e de acaba Cisco'nun bulunduğumuz coğrafyayla ilgili vizyonu nedir? Gelecek planları neler olacak? Onu sordum. Şimdi de o sohbete gidelim. Our vision is to enable countries, companies, cities to exploit the capability and potential of technology to, as a business, improve their profitability, uh, as, a as a country or as a city to improve the lives of citizens and residents in those countries. And at a very high level, that's our vision. Um, we do that, I guess, as a number of, of, of uh, uh, pillars that support that. Technology clearly is one of the key ones, but also partnering to build skills and capacity. So the Networking Academy program across the region, you know, we have hundreds of thousands of students over the lifetime of the academy, the last 20 years, who have participated in the academy, have gone on to take those skills and those learnings into the workplace to help customers understand how they can deploy the technology and support the technology. So um, I think it's truly something that can help transform a business and certainly transform a country. At a high level, that's our vision for the region. The new rules are that you're in a, high, a, a hyper distributed world. So with millions of more devices being connected to the internet every, every day, every week, every month, you know, no longer can you contain and control the data within a data center. You have to be able to extend automation, security, et cetera, and visibility into the network in a hyper distributed world. Those are the new rules. So uh, it's not securing the data center, it's securing a hyper distributed environment. And then leveraging you know, the data that you're going to be seeing um, in these remote areas and trying to mine the value of that data. It's an interesting one for me, artificial intelligence, because it's not like it's a new thing. If you think about you know, our everyday lives, we're already using and seeing artificial intelligence in everything that we do. And in fact, we've been using artificial intelligence in our technology for quite a number of years now. So um, you know, we will do more things like, certainly in the areas of collaboration, we're going to be using artificial intelligence to you know, provide a more meaningful experience as customers use our technology. İlk defa katıldığım ve gerçekten çok heyecanlandığım, dolu dolu geçen bir etkinlik oldu. Cisco Live 2019. Barcelona'daki bu etkinlikte olan bitenleri bu videoda sizlerle paylaştım. Bir sonraki videoda görüşmek üzere, hoşçakalın. kalın.